Hello everybody, and thanks for checking out another video here on G4G Games for Gamers. Today we're going to take a look at part 2 of the video series, The Science of PvP, here at Marvel Adventures Alliance. Today's background soundtrack is brought to you by Galaxy Ambient, and a link will be up in the description of the video. So we're currently in PvP Preseason Omega. And this is the preseason that is existing after the Nova PvP season. So in the first video I talked about the passives of PvP combat. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the actives of PvP combat. I'm going to start with my team, describe why I like them, show you them in action, and kind of talk about the decision making process of PvP and and how to design a decent team. Now anything you see in this video is not designed to enable you to all of a sudden win all of your matches be it offensive or defensive but it's get it's to get you to think like a forward-minded PvPer. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into a practice match and, you know, whatever comes will come. I may lose, I may win, but I'll pick somebody relatively high up to practice over here. Or not, because apparently my browser needs to be restarted. This... that's unreal. Okie dokie, well, let's, let's restart. Maybe something's coming up with the new Spec Ops or something. So while this is restarting, basically... In this video, we'll talk about synergy and how people can be linked through the agents in some, you know, kind of odd ways that you may not think of. Now, while it is very good in Marvel Avengers Alliance to be sort of progressively thinking, kind of have an out-of-the-box way of doing things, there is a reason why there's a term called the meta and that is because when you are sitting there doing pvp there are teams that work and then there are teams that don't work and they work for reasons and unfortunately the meta has kind of been flipped on its head a little bit recently so they did update something we now have the flaming post in the store this is kind of a uh an interesting item and actually, we'll sit and discuss whether or not it's it's actually... Oh, hey, wait, what a minute. What? Uh, we seem to have something going on over here. Okay, so we have some new content. I need to talk to you, Agent. I have become aware of those attempting to resurrect the Elder Gods. Are you familiar with them? Yeah, we'll say no. They're beings of incredible power whose only desire is to see our world, our reality, crushed for eternity. Fortunately, they were locked away in Limbo, at least temporarily. You see, I was abducted to Limbo as a little girl by an evil sorcerer named Belasco, a servant of the Elder Gods and the former ruler of Limbo. He fashioned a mystical medallion that contained the pieces of my soul, a quote-unquote pure soul. He was seeking to corrupt in order to release his masters from their imprisonment. Eventually, I was able to destroy both Belasco and the Elder Gods, restoring what was left of my soul, but at the price of manipulating my friends in order to do so, which is why it must come to you. Whoever is trying to resurrect them, they are trying to use a series of medallions similar to the one that I once owned. I believe they are trying to corrupt a large number of souls rather than focus on one quote-unquote pure soul. I would appreciate your aid in retrieving these medallions and preventing these beings from ever returning, or you could let the world end. Your choice is yours after all. No pressure. Collect 15 sealed lockets. Sealed lockets may be earned by completing daily missions. It's 45 gold to finish. And, uh, okay, so 40, yep, 15 times 3. So it seems like we have new content. So I think I will go ahead and shift this video over to being this new little thing that we've got going on over here. Maybe they'll classify it as a covert ops. Use magic soul sword four times. Use magic stepping disc four times. That will be good anywhere that there are a lot of infiltrators. 
so let's see what the daily uh, mission holds over here. If the daily mission's rewards have changed. Now, I've already gone through this once today. This is the all red in the ledger thing. Let's see if... Uh... Well, it doesn't specifically mention it. Seal locks is uh, completing daily missions. They also may be purchased. So... Maybe they will actually show up as a reward over here. So it's not really getting classified as a spec ops or a covert ops, at least as far as I can tell. Alright, so you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll totally shift the focus of this video. And uh, we'll just talk about this no, new little task over here. So, one of the best ways to do this reward is to go against infiltrators so that you can start with stepping disc and follow up with soul sword or use flanked so let's just go into my normal mission that i had been doing and this actually happened to be a rather demonic oriented mission that i was running and I'll show you one of the best ways that we can go through those tasks over here. Unfortunately, my magic is capped at the moment. Oh, hey, look, infiltrator's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and switch to my protect the bruiser suit from fun. And I want in PvP. We will go with you. I will go with the Grimoire, whatever pops up over here, it's around here somewhere. The other thing, if you do not have this Grimoire, actually what you could do is to go ahead and use the uh, Hogun, who could set up an AoE flanked in round two. So we'll go with this. We will change it over to magic. There she is. And who's got a lovely little bonus with magic? Well, you know what? Luke Cage was close to leveling, so we'll get him. Looks like uh, we, we're diverting from the PvP on this one, and we'll just take a look at the Spec Ops, or Covert Ops. Well, yeah, Covert Ops, really. We'll call it that. Alright, so we will lead with the Flank Book, which will put bleeds on us. However, the Mystic will turn it right off. And actually, she would get this double attack anyway, because they're Infiltrators. Magic, honestly, she is one of my favorite heroes in the game. I, I love her sword animation, and her abilities are a nice mix of, of two different things. And uh, the, the fact that she traffics in pressure points, and she also uses the, um, the attrition debuffs and whatnot, I actually mained her for a season in PvP. The, vo uh, the Voodoo That Magic Do, I think, was my video on that. It was Dr. Voodoo and Magic. Both pretty evasive characters to be running in PvP. Uh, Dr. Voodoo with being phased. And nice little extra turn there. That's the glory of the Bruiser Suit, is that you run the big and fast ISO in it, and you have the chance to gain an extra turn, which... Somewhat makes up for the fact that it is not the tactician suit with snappy service. So she's still going to have close quarters combat. So I will just keep that close quarters combat moving. Get Mr. Protecting Null going. Get these stacks up and running. I've really come to enjoy Null quite a bit since I've been leveling him here, this last little push for his level. He is, uh, he is fun, and I think when I actually ISO him, he's going to be 
uh, quite cool to use. There is one bug in the game when it comes to the uh, the big and fast ISO. The fact that you can target somebody who does have that uh, protect ISO in them. And they will get the extra turn even if you target them. They're not really protecting at that point in time. You're targeting them, but they still have their chance to gain the extra turn. I, I sort of... Um, not exactly too fond of that. But, okay, whatever. We might actually be able to get rid of her, um, her quest completely in this. Maybe. We might be one short on the level one. We'll see. So it's the doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Yep. All right, so let's see what the next task is. We will go ahead and let's get a little relative quickie over here. And the good thing about this time is I don't have to set up the flank since I just need to use the soul sword one time. Okay, well, we don't want to... Hmm. I'll go and hit the same guy again. The reason why I don't want to get too many bruisers here is I'd rather have... Uh, Magic, go ahead and do it and set these guys up as scrappers, but it looks like that's not going to happen. It looks like I got the extra turn again. And we'll just soul sword this guy, and now we have two bruisers who can get enraged off of that scrapper. Isn't Null fun? Null's a lot of fun. Let's see what his stacks of divine are at over here. It's only three. Nothing to see here. Speaking of PvP, I fought in PvP earlier a Heemdall Bruiser Agent Molly Hayes group and everything just went bad in that one. That was really bad because of turn order. Uh, the agent was able to clean the exhausted uh, before I could do it again to Molly Hayes. So I was not able to keep her exhausted. And she threw Punisher Van after Punisher Van after Punisher Van at my team. Which includes, of course, Scrapper X-Force Archangel. So she stayed enraged. And... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad. Alright, well, so one task down. Oh, complete five PvP battles. So I guess we'll do that in the actual PvP video. And, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first look at what I will call the Magic Covert Ops over here. And, um, maybe I'll do some videos when we see some more tasks and get around to, uh, the sides of PvP Part 2. Take care, everybody. Hi, folks. Just wanted to say this is a nice little addendum to the video that I was filming earlier. So I saw all the tasks for Magic and of course we read everything in the beginning. Little did I know why we were going through that. So I just wanted to add this little tack on to what I've been filming before. Before we get to that, so let's discuss the Flaming Post. It's on sale. Should you buy it? Well, it is an interesting weapon. However, uh, you want to realize that... Um, oh, this is not tra traumatic pose. Pyro yes, okay. So, this has been on sale before, and I happen to have it. The application of the pyrophoric and the flanked is only if you counterattack. If you just use it, you will not apply it. 
and I'll quickly pop over to the simulator and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean. But yeah, so the reason why we were going through all that stuff before was because of the fact that we are getting the famous magic alt. And uh, really interesting that after it's been listed there for so long, seems like Playdom is, is finally giving it to us over here. So I will go ahead and pull up the flaming post. All right, so here it is. Chance encounter, single target attack, supplies power fork and flanked, counterattack, customized, psychic, and burning. So now it is pretty decent because it is a psychic attack. So that, of course, is, is nice. But the power fork and the flanked only happens on the counter. Now, it is pretty decent if your agent is running a protect setup, like, you know, the Blade of the Guardian... Or you're running the Bruiser Suit from the PvP. Or you're running Thunderbolt. The T-Bolt Glove from the Melee. So we'll go ahead and attack this. We'll attack with this. And we'll watch his debuffs over here. If you notice, he didn't gain anything. So the flank didn't go. The Pyrophoric didn't go. Now let's see if I get to counterattack here. Here's the Flaming Post. And now we have the Pyrophoric, and now we have the Flanked. So the answer of should I buy the Flaming Post relies strictly on the fact if you plan to tank on your agent. Otherwise, no, it is a pass. It is a waste of money. However, what is neat about it is the fact that it is a psychic weapon, so psychic weapons in a way are almost stealthy. But, yep, let's go ahead and uh, pop over to magic. And sweet, plus two. That works. Boy, it's hard hanging in that top 1% over there for some reason this time around. But, let's jump over to magic and we'll discuss what we're getting out of her. So, here is the suit. New Mutants. And she goes from a flaming sword... To a flaming lightsaber, which I actually really like it. And she has that arm going over here. Her passives change. She keeps Ruler of Limbo. But now she gains Stepping Disc. Chance to teleport all allies away, evading incoming area attacks. Can avoid catastrophic attacks. So this would be hysterically funny if somebody goes to try to polish off your team with an Atom Smasher. And Magic just nopes it. Like, he and all just like, nope, out of the way. Um, chance to teleport all allies evading incoming area attacks. I wonder if she guarantees a teleport of everybody at the same time, or what? Not really too sure uh, how that's going to work out. But it could be very, very interesting with a, uh, a disoriented versed uh, um, defensive team. If you are using a lot of disoriented effects, and of course people go and use area of attack to counter that unless they can clean it. Like on, for my team, I use Archangel's Nanoplague if he's disoriented because, you know, I know it's going to work. The fact that if you're running magic in there thereby partially negating that that could be very interesting but her alternate suits are blaster and infiltrator similar to um scarlet witch and the stripper witch outfit so this is good for passives i would recommend people try if you have magic try to get the suits this way you can leave her as a blaster and up your blaster bonus a little bit and uh potentially get her away for scrappers you can see in her raw status, her health is 2, her stamina is 3, her attack and defense are a peppy 4, accuracy is 3, and evasion is 2. So you're going to want to ISO her for health, attack, defense, and accuracy. And yeah, so I don't think any of her moves change. It's soul sword, stepping razor, soul charge, death for a soul charge. That's... Soul Charge times two? That's a little weird. I thought I'm only getting that because of the ISO. Hold on a second here. Yeah, 
adds one additional soul charge. Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. I think that's a uh, a holdover from uh, the fact that my ISO is in there. Because, yeah, nothing else seems to be uh, different over here. Soul Flare. Yep, Paragon. Exploit Attrition. Pressure Point. Soul Charge. Soul Sword. I, I think because of the ISO being there, it's saying that it's two. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to be one. So there you go. There is her new outfit. And that's why we're going through the tasks. And the, uh, the tasks are to use each one of her abilities two times. Win five PvP battles, which uh, practice does count. And you have to get 15 sealed lockets from the daily missions. The mission that is up today with using only red in the ledger does not seem to count. I just went through it again and it didn't do anything. So just want to let you know why we're going through these tasks. Take care, everybody.